Hello, everyone. How's everyone doing? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're signing in. This is Dennis. I'm signing in from Toronto, Canada. Nice to meet everyone. Uh, happy Thursday to everyone here tonight. Uh, well, I'm in Toronto. Well, today is honor that I can be up here today to talk to, to you about, you know, something. You know, I think most of the people I, sign, I see someone is, oh, signing in from Australia, uh, Calgary, Canada, uh, some in US and uh, some in Malaysia. So we are signing in from different part of the world. But well, folks, today is a very good night. What happened is, you know, we're going to talk about uh, how to start a business, okay? Uh, how do you want to do a jumpstart in this platform? Well, today, not only myself, I have invited a very nice friend of mine, a gentleman that actually he's supposed to be in US, but I think he's not in US now. Let me introduce him up and then we can talk about it. Okay, hello, L let me welcome, you know, our Emerald Director, Robert. Hi, Dennis. Hi, everybody. It's, uh, uh, I think, good morning, good night, or wherever, depending on where you are. Where, where, by the way, where are you now? <laughs> I'm in Taiwan right now. It's wow. uh, 9.31 in the morning. I wow, just finished right. my coffee. Yeah. Very nice. We are 9.31 at night. So we just are the... So just a 12 hour difference but look at the technology you know you see you you can serve the one in asia i'm the one in the north america so what well, technology we can do all this okay that's correct well, robert okay uh, maybe you know we can we can talk about today the title is you know how we can start okay and how to jump start i think most of the people joining in uh, right now from from the from the from the zoom right now uh, some of them might be new. Some of them maybe already started for a few years or a few months in Genes, uh, in our platform. Well, I remember myself. I started six years ago. When I start, uh, I know nothing about it. Uh, but luckily, you know, I learn, I learn, and I become I become an Emerald Director, and I love this six year what I have been to go through. Well, Robert, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and maybe how? Will you view this business and how come you started? Uh, I started uh, because I'm the traditional businessman and I started because uh, the trend change. Uh, but I, my, my, the, the starting up is not that kind of smooth. You know, at the beginning, I, I didn't see the, the business. I was mm -hmm. stubborn. Okay. Because I think uh, because of the mindset. So I struggle. Uh, but the, actually, Jeunesse got me because uh, his platform it was unique. The product was excellent. So today, I know we know how you're going to do that, how to start up. So I think uh, we, we're going to hear the, the, the Dennis to tell us something about that. And I think Dennis is going to mention something more about the mindset. Because Dennis, you are, you are from the engineering side, right? Just like me. I am, yes, we are two engineers here now. We yeah, are okay. logic thinking, you know, maybe a little bit different from what, what you guys, you know, uh, listening about, you know. <laughs> yeah, because uh, we, uh, we, we look everything by number, by logical, okay? So yes. uh, as far as I know, how you start a business, I think most important is mindset, mm. your attitude, your mindset, because I think everybody in the groups right now, I believe, and I do believe, you have the ability to do anything. Mm -hmm. But I think the key point is, are you willing to do that? Or you believe you can do it? So I think the most important is my side. So the, the, my good friend, Dennis, gonna gonna use a very about 20, 25 minutes, and uh, he gonna go through the PPT, and he gonna tell you the basic about how to get a stop. And after that, I think uh, we, we can talk about that. We can open the line and the people uh, there, you can, you can uh, ask your question. We will answer any question. Yes, but that's uh, right. I will not give you my bank account, the password. It's, <laughs> it's, I cannot do that. But the other, <laughs> you can ask, okay? Okay, no problem. Okay, let, let so me- I let, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let Dennis have the honor and uh, share his uh, experience about how to start up Jeunesse business. So okay, thank give to you. Okay, thank you, thank you. Hello, so everyone. So, well, let me let me let me talk a little bit about myself. If someone doesn't know me, uh, as just we when I talked to Robert, we were talking about that. Uh, I'm an engineer. I'm a mechanical engineer. I graduate with my degree of engineering, 
And actually, I've been working in a manufacturing environment uh, for almost 23 years as an engineer and then as a management in a manufacturing environment. Uh, I become the plan manager and become the managing director of the, this Canadian operation. Basically, I worked for 23 years in that one company, one industry. Uh, six years ago, in 2015, I have a chance to jump out my comfort zone. The reason why, because I have enough of my engineering number logic thinking. Well, but I still, it, I still, my, I still very, thinking very logically. But uh, at that time, you know, uh, I was so burned out, so tired. My working hours was so long. I say, I don't want to do that. Let me find something else. Well, I have a good chance. I met Jeunesse. And the, the person I met in Jeunesse, the first one person I met is our Double Diamond director, Samson Lee. Uh, if you heard that yesterday, it's nice, beautiful, you know, what a, what an inspiring uh, uh, opportunity meeting showcase la last night. I, I heard it live in Canada at that time. It really changed my mind that, well, the potential of a human is different. It's not, I'm not locking, even I study in engineering, I'm not locking as an engineer, okay? I can do something else. Well, folks, today I'm going to share with you some of my experience and some of my, how I start up uh, uh, my team and how to start up myself. Of course, uh, it's been corrected or something that when I start up, I start wrong also. I'm not a good student sometimes, you know, I, I want to do my way, but I find out that, oh, that's not very good. You know, I should follow uh, what the leaders say, the mentors say, tell me, because they have been walked through all this. Well, today I'm going to show you uh, something what we call NDO, okay, new distributor orientation. Uh, well, it's not a full NDO, it's a shorter version of this. Uh, we're not going to cover everything, but I hope after this, uh, this, tonight webinar, and uh, you will be more clear about how to start this business and how you can link each process together. Because I know we all talk about mindset, uh, talk about name this, how to talk about invite and talk about uh, all, all these things, yeah, follow up. Well, when, warm up, you know, peak interest, when is this falling in, in which category? Well, with my engineering mindset background, and logic thinking, I prepare something for you today. Let me share my screen first, my PowerPoint. Okay, so, oh, hold on, give me a second. Yes, okay. Now I think you all see, uh, okay, hold on, give me a second. Yes, well, you see new distributor orientation, okay. This is what we call NDO. Uh, you can you can still go on the USGS channel, uh, look at some of the NDO. The, the, uh, but today is a, is a summary version of all that, okay? First, okay, when we start a business, okay, in Genes, we have hardware and software. Well, what is hardware? The hardware is Genes. Genes basically is the hardware what we want to run as a business, okay? Like it's a vehicle now, okay? It's a car. Uh, so we have to understand that. Well, for my for my engineering background, I, it was so attract me when I joined the company, this hardware. We know we like to do machine and all that. That's why when I see hardware, so what it is actually is our e-commerce website and our back office. Basically, that is the hardware. Of course, the system physically itself, okay? But for us, the hardware is our website. For us to start a, a business on an online business, we need a website. Well, basically, www.yourusername.gns.com. And sometimes we call it the rep replicated website. Uh, but a lot of people, I find out that after they, they partnership with GNS, they even don't know how this web website looks like and they don't go into it because they say, well, I just want to talk to people and then sign in, go to the back office. I really don't know how my replicated website works. But let me tell you, this website have a lot of information, you know, and this is actually the face of you. 
The company information, you can look a lot and also the product information and there's video there and all that. You know, people, your customer, your retail customer, sometimes they go on this website, they're going to ask you, what is that about? If you don't know it, well, sometimes it's some embar- embarrassing to do that. Then what you need to do, go to the website. Just like you go to Amazon, you go to some other online website, just go around. Don't worry, you won't break it. Okay, this hardware is unbreakable. Well, after the website, and it's our back office. This is interesting. Our back office is so sophisticated and it's so good. What does that has? That has our real-time business report, how to manage our sales order, and what else, you know, have our, our business internal information, uh, a lot of training tools also in our back office. Well, many people doesn't know how to do that, how to how to navigate, how to do that. I'm not going to show you everything today, but I'm going to tell you where to look that information. When you log into your back office, okay, after you sign up, you got the temporary password, you log in, you change your password. Once you first time you log in, somehow in the screen dashboard, you will see this getting start button. Click on it. Okay, I know many people that even doesn't know this exists. Okay, click on it. The company Gines has been put in so much effort for this. Then you will see a screen called getting stock that has company info, has product info, financial reward info, and getting start tool. This getting start tool tell, help you how to do step by step, you know, from the company. And of course, you know, there is a good thing called know your back office. Once you click on it, there's many video and teach you how to enroll and can teach you also how to, how to, how to order a, a smart delivery and teach you all these things, okay? So folks, go on to this and learn it. The time when I joined six years ago, this is not exist, okay? I have to go and and play around myself. Right now, it's so simple. You can do that. So once you understand your hardware, well, do you think you're good? Well, at that time, but I know some of the engineers, some some IT person, because they love to play around this. They myself, I waste, I spend so much time on the back office and the website to navigate, to look for information. Well, what happened is this won't make you money. This doesn't matter how well known you know the, the, the how to operate the system, this is not going to make you any money. Why? Because what we need to do is to share. So, so to do this, you just know your knowledge. If someone asks you a question, you know how to answer. But to expand your business, to start your business, well, this is not what really you want to focus on because eventually you will know that. But even I say that most people will ask, oh, what is this? What is that? Okay. But let them, the company will tell you. That's why you go on it. You look at yourself. Well, another NDO, what we call success process. You know, this is our software. This is the software I was, we're talking about, like the program we load into it. This is how we run the business. This is how we teach you how to do it. Well, as an engineer, I create a flow chart. Uh, someone might know what is flow chart. Someone might don't know. Well, I'm showing you what is a flow chart is. Well, we start with mindset. This is our starting point. Okay, this, we start with mindset. What Robert was mentioned, mindset is the most important things. And then we start with nameless. Nameless, which is what we call sometimes is our business plan. Because we are a human business, okay? We are sharing. We need to have someone to share with. This is come from your nameless. Folks, this is very important. One, the mindset, once you've got the mindset right, the nameless is the most important thing to expand to start your business. And then we go to another process called warm up, storytelling, and find out the needs, okay? These are the next process. And what we go on, then we go to invite. Oh, wow, invite is coming. People, a lot of people know, oh, how to invite, how to invite, how to do a better invite. If you know how to invite, you can grow in this business. Is that true? 
That's true, okay? Invite is a very, very important and you, you can learn a lot, a, a lot of knowledge behind it. I, you know, actually I learned so much on the invite and I also, you know, my self-development and how to talk to people, the warm up, the people skill is all come from here. Invite to where? We invite to the event, or OPP, opportunity meeting. And also we have one-on-one -on -one and we went on the conventions. We invite to the conventions. After that, we go to follow up. Well, once you listen to the OP uh, convention and all that, they, they have all the information, your customer will have some decision to make. They will either be a consumer or become your business partner. Well, basically we only have two categories. Well, the ones who say no, we don't want to talk about it. So when we talk about the one with the customer or is the, with the partnership, okay? Well, first let's talk about, let's talk about the consumer. Well, when they become your consumer, basically it said they don't want to do any about the business, but they love the product. They love the product. They want to use the product. I think, uh, most of the people, uh, a lot of it, uh, maybe over 80 or 90% of everyone who joined that love the product because as the, after the pandemic, we all know health is so important and Genesis Yes system, youth enhancement system serves so good, okay? Well, what we need to do for this user or what we call consumer, you take care about them, care about their health, care about how they use the product correctly and Time to time, fit that in into mindset. Why I say that? Because every user, they're using the product. Sometimes they love the product. They start sharing with their family, with their friends. Sometimes at that will click in, the mindset will click in that, hey, I can make some commission on it. And they find out that, oh, by sharing this, I can earn some money. So many of some of my partner also some from a consumer starting point, they turn into a business partner, okay? Because time to time when you're doing the follow-up, if you never talk to them, if you don't follow up with them, this is not going to happen. They will just continue using it. But one time, if they find someone promoting a new product, they will change, okay? That is what's going to happen. So time to time, even a consumer, you need to go back to follow-up, continue, you know, taking care about them. And what you're teaching them, use the product correctly, use it and share with the, the one who you love, okay? So share with the friends who you think you care with. Well, the, the problem, the question come up is the business partners. Well, for business partner, we have a few things to do. We need to do startup, how to kickstart them, how to do training and how to teach them how to do action. Basically, the whole success process is an action point. Each one is the things that you need to do action on it. And then what did happen when you start sharing, you're taking action, you start building up your distribution team. Okay, this is your building team. That's how I learned from all my, 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 my training. So after you build, you're building your team, what we do, the most important is what we call duplication. Can you duplicate this? Okay, well, all, every new member comes in, we go back to the beginning from mindset, name this warm up, invite, event, okay, follow up. This is how the process going to be. Well, folks, I hope you have a better understand where you fit in for each category. Now, each action now. Well, I'm going to talk about each action, okay? Very brief. Mindset. Well, first mindset, normally I say mindset is first, you have to understand the the business, the mindset of what is this business looks like? You know, basically, you know, Jeunesse business model is an evolution of the retail business model. Why we call, why we say that, you know, provider, which is Jeunesse Global, have a provider. We all have a website, be the partnership with Jeunesse and we share with someone and what we share with some other user, like, like just Facebook, you share uh, uh, something on your Facebook, a comment or Twitter, these people, lots of people joining in, you know, they like it, they like it. What we build up, we build up an online, a social online community. Well, when you have a community, all well, things will going to happen. What's going to happen? Well, some business going to happen in here because people love that, what you're sharing, people doing that, what the provider is providing. Well, 
Genesis going to give you a global e-commerce e-business platform provider. What they do, they have a global business website, the product R&D, and also warehouse logistic, you know, real-time business tracking report and global pay in and pay out solution. Well, this sounds familiar, isn't it? Which Genesis is all doing this, you know, the provider, which the Genesis model, business model is doing it. For us as a participant, what we do, we use the product, we promote the product, we promote the business, we promote the, the opportunity and we share it. So once you're good at it, you start train, you start get educated, okay? This is how you start, you understand the mindset, how this business work. And is this, this, this picture look familiar? You look, you watched this yesterday and every, our English, you know, opportunity showcase, we have this. What we call this, we call this is a business system in a box. Basically, Jeunesse is providing this business system in a box for you, okay? You have everything to do the business in this box. Once you partnership with it, you got it. You can own business right away. Well, after you know, I no need to, I no need to, to inventory anything, to stock up anything. I no need basic, I don't need to just go out and sell, collect money. I don't need to worry about logistic, customer service, all this. No need to worry. What I need to do is just need to do sharing, sharing, sharing. Well, to sharing it, what is the next process? Is nameless. Okay. You need to have a target to a person to share with. Well, what we call is the business plan too. Well, everyone, you know, listen carefully. There is some rule to make up your name list. No prejudge, okay? Because I have so much, so many partners that what they do, you know, they, they have thousands, hundreds, thousands on the phone contact list. But I ask them, well, write down the person that uh, uh, on your name list. Oh, I have 10, I have five, I have maybe 15. I say, why? Oh, they would tell me because, you know, oh, he has a good job. He is doing business. He, he, he's very healthy. Well, what's that called? That is called prejudge because you never know what's going to happen. Just believe it. The more, the better is anyone, everyone on your list, on your contact list. Just write it down. Why? Or, or now you can use Excel to do that. Why you want to do that? Well, because this is your contact, okay? Like uh, I have an example, uh, well, uh, like a slot machine. If you have a lot of coins or tokens, uh, what's gonna happen? You have a whole bucket. You do, 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 slot, do, 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 slot. You don't even care you're gonna win or not. Well, that is it. But when you only have a few, what are you going to do? Would wander around, look at which slot machine, Oh, try this one or two, yeah? Well, actually the name this is like that. If you have a lot, means you have a lot of resource to build your business. At least hundred, make a list, write down their name, their age, the location. Location is important because you don't know where this business will going to bring you. Jeunesse has covered over 150 plus country. Location, F-O-R-M-H-T. You should know about it. I will talk about it later. What are the business experience? What their needs is? What the relationship? How to contact them? Like a simple information, list it up. And what you need to do, the third thing is to analyze it. Well, that is a major part. If you don't know how to do that, contact the person back to your, your sponsor, your leader. They will help you to how to analyze a few things, you know, condition. Well, is this person how willingness, you know, he accept this business or how much he's, she, he or she is hungry about to develop her own business and, and, and how healthy she is, you know, all this is condition. And what kind of character is this person? Well, that might be important too, because someone is just like a follower. A follower, you need to be strong to talk to this person, to lead them. And someone is very self-confident. If someone's self-confident, you have to maybe react a little bit different. That is called self-development. This is the help people skill. It is so interesting. When you do more and more, when you see so many people out there, this is so interesting. Actually, for me, I love to do that now. Before, I hate to meet people, but now it's just so love it. But unfortunately, it's in pandemic. I'm meeting people online right now. Well, after this, we go to warm up and story needs okay story and needs what is this well before you go to warm up with people 
first you need to have your story ready. Why? Well, this why means that something. Why? Why you need story? No. Or why you doing this genius as a business? Why you want to jump in to share this? This is important because the why in the future going to be your drive. Because when you know the why, then it will drive you to keep going, to continue to sharing this with, with, with friends, okay? Well, basically in your story, you cover with who you are, okay, your background, and what do I see or what do you see in Jeunesse? And where, where am I now, okay? In, where am I now? Not, not location, okay? Not where I, I'm in Canada, no. Where am I in, in, my, in my life? And what do I see myself going? Okay, this is your story. Think about it. Why you want to do that? Because to telling story is sometimes what with the purpose for that is to resonate to others, to help them to be aware for changes, that they can be better. That is change out there. They can, they no need to stick there like myself. Six years, before six years ago, I worked for one company for 20 few years. I never thought I need change until a point that I say enough. But, be, but I'm not prepared at that time. That's why I lost many time, many, many, many resources. I lost some of my time to, to find what it is, okay? But if you get ready, we think about our story, what's gonna happen? Well, you know, people will change and people will, will resonate with others. We no need to have a very, very, you know, uh, uh, story that you, will, will make people cry and all that. No, we, we're just a normal, ordinary people. Uh, like myself, many people after listening to my story, my story is still very normal. A lot of people like that. They're working for a whole life and they fed up. They don't like it. They want to do something, you know, but they're afraid to jump out for the comfort zone. For my when I shared my story, many people say, yes, there is something out there that which they don't know. Once you have your story, what you need to do is to find needs, okay? Well, when you find needs, is the warm-up time when you're talking to people, okay? You're meeting people actually, you care about them, you listen, you share. This is a three thing very important. Uh, many people, you know, once they talk, once they prepare their story, they, they they, they spit out all their story and without listening, without caring about people. That's not good, okay? So story is sometimes that you have to talk about it, but at the same time, you ask for their story. So ask question is very important because if you don't ask, people are not going to tell you by themselves normally. But even you ask, a lot of people say, why you ask me? Why should I tell you? But I find out that when you start sharing your story, when you're sharing about yourself, after you're sharing about yourself, when you ask, they will open their mind, they will open their heart to start talking to you. Once you find out what they need, what you do, you provide a solution to them. You provide a solution. Well, we all know in Jeunesse, basically you can give anything. You know, if you want to know more friends, yes. If you want to have an opportunity, yes. You want health? Yes. Okay. You want travel? Yes. So anything who would want it, Jeunesse can, can give you the solution. Well, we give them a solution and we ask them, well, if there's a, there's a chance to help you to improve your problem, do you want to listen to it? Okay. Do you want to know more about it? Of course, if you find the correct needs, they will say yes. Well, how to help them to aware what they need. This is called FORMHD family, occupation, recreation, money, health, and dream. Okay, these are the things, please remember, if you don't do a screenshot of it, okay? And when you ask question, when you do a provide a solution, normally what you need to do using three F, feel, felt, found. This is a very useful tool. I learned this, you know, from uh, since I joined Jeunesse, uh, I never, never, never know this before. That's why my people's skill is not good. In, in the time when I listen to something I don't like or is not agree, the first thing I say is no, no, no. That's not it is. You know, this is what it should be. Well, engineer, yes or no, black and white, yeah? 
Well, I find out it's not like that. Sometimes when you want to tell people for them to agree your opinion, you need to say use three F. Oh, I know what how you feel. Okay, I felt the same way, but I find out something. Well, this basically is the same result of saying no, no, but the people will accept it and they will listen to what you talk about, okay? So this is how you do warm up and find out needs, okay? F-O-R-M-H-D. Well, when you move up, once you find out their needs, it's go to invite. Invite to where? Invite to the event. For talking about invite, okay, I, 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 I talk about, well, if you know, if, if, you, if, if I know something that can change, help you to increase your, your income or help you to increase more time to spend with your family, do you want to know more about it? If they say yes, I think 90, 95%, if you ask correctly, they will say yes. Well, that's a good timing. You can invite them to the meeting. For them to meet meeting, we have a work of 5M. More meetings means more money, okay? The more meetings you invite people to, what happens is they more understand about the business. They, all, they, they will listen to more story. They more resonate about themselves. They were aware the change they, that they need, okay? And there's a, there's a rule called ABC. I will explain that a little bit later. And what kind of meeting you can invite them to? Well, what we want you to do is plug into the system. For example, every Thursday, we have this 9.30 training, English training. And Wednesday and Sunday, we do have like a business showcase, that 9.30, same ID, same, same link, okay? Well, this is what we call system. So you can leverage the system. You just invite your friends, you know, plug them into it. What they do, they do the same thing to duplicate it. So what is this proving? This is proof that everyone can do it. It's easy. You no need to talk about all this detail about yourself. You no need to train. But when you plug into the system, yes, you can learn it. You can do it. The thing is just simple. You invite them to do one-on-one -on -one with your partner, with your, your sponsor, with your mentor, or you invite them to a PBL, what we call private business reception, or sometimes we call it just home party, okay? Or you invite them to business showcase, product showcase, local. Well, every local right now events have been changed to online. So online event is the most, but I think since, you know, uh, uh, the pandemic that uh, everyone's having vaccine in, in the US, we're going to have uh, some big event going on from GNS, like in Expo, we're going to have the, in Vegas. So I'm preparing to also going to Vegas. I miss my travel and invite them to the conventions, you know, like GNS University, uh, lead event, expo event, some virtual, some on, on, on site, you know, these are the events you want to invite people to go on. Well, talking about ABC, well, bridge B is yourself, is you, okay? You have a friend you want to share, that's your customer. Between you and him, B and C, you have to trust together, you have to trust. Well, what we call A, A is your advisor, what you need, the most important, I write it in red, is because it's edify. You do need to edify the advisor. The advisor can be an event, and the advisor can be a video, can be a book, or can be a person. If you do it correctly, your customer, your friend, will be respecting the advisor and will respect the video and will respect the meeting, the event they join in. They will listen it more carefully. If you don't edify correctly, they will just like another meeting, another like a like a like a like a TV show and all that. So they won't listen to correctly, uh, more patient on on it, focus. So you do need to edify. Edification is the key in this business. And then after they listen to it, well, follow up. Okay, without proper follow up, nothing going to happen. Nothing going to happen. Well, when you do follow up enrollment and you plug them in again, okay? Thing about follow up is when you do follow up, first, you do need to have confidence, okay? Why I'm saying that? Well, because you do need to, after that, you need to have a confidence to talk to the, the customer, your prospect, your friends that, well, this is what I'm doing. Well, I can see the future of it. And this is the trend what is going. Let's work together. 
This is you show confidence, okay? You show confidence. Don't ask about that you're not sure and all that because they come in, they, you invite them to come in to this business because you know they believe you, they trust you, okay? And what you need to do, sometimes they will have problems. They will have questions. You, you need to know how to handle an objection. You know, some basic, I have no friends, I have no time. You know, all these basic handle objection, you can find them from the company, okay? And, or you can find them on YouTube in the USGS official channel. And you can find them so many things, find them from your leader. They will give you all this. But think about it. After my six year, all this handle objection, I don't think it's more than 20. Everyone is asking the same question. Once you master it, it's simple, easy. And you need to have excitement and passion about what you're doing, okay? You need temperature to, to be an influencer, okay? To if influence them, that to lead them into it, okay? And you have to guide them, you have to lead them. This is what you do follow up, okay? And then what we do is plug into the system again. Remember the whole circle? You plug them in, you follow up with your, your, your new partner, plug them into the system, ask them to invite, to do mindset, name list, all this, okay? When you do start up a new partner, well, how to do that startup? Well, you have to inspire them. Well, your own story is inspiration and you share with others story, okay? And you have to help them to find their why, to find their dream, okay? Building dream is very important. Uh, well, of course, every business you run in, you have ups and downs, up and downs, okay? When you go to the downtime, what's going to happen? Your dream will be, will, will be, will be your drive, okay? Like, you know, I, I, I have my dream on my wall here, you know? I just, with my team, we all have a dream board. We make the dream board, we all pose it. And every day when I sit into doing Zoom, I saw my dream, okay? So the most last but not least is the duplication, okay? Uh, what I, 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 I encourage Bill, you have to teach, okay? I love teaching, why? Because every time when I teach, I learn, okay? You teach, you act, and you teach more people to do the same thing. That is called duplication. You master the basic, okay? The basic, how to, the, what is the basic? The basic is just the mindset, what I explained. And the basic is how to do the name list. The basic is how to how to invite, how to how to do your story. Okay, business showcase opportunity, showcase uh, products. You you do gathering meetings, communication, and you know the process of the success. Okay, once you have that, keep in mind. You know where you are. You know which step you need to go. Some advice: learn, act, and teach. You cannot learn everything, don't act, okay? You need to learn, you act, and then you go back to review. Once you, you are good at it, you teach. The time when you teach, actually you're learning again, okay? And it is very simple. All this simple thing, you repeating doing it and always doing it, okay? Don't make it cut off, okay? Always, the frequency is very important, okay? If you want to do it every day, simple thing, calling people, you, you follow up with people, you simple, repeat, and always doing it. And one last thing is edification. You have to master some simple, easy, how to edify people, how to edify your, 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 your advisor, how to edify you know, your mentor, how to edify your leader, how to edify that event, which you're going to join and people will have, you know, wow, that is the event. They will have a different mentality, you know, that different perspective to join that meeting, that event. And this is what I call the success process. Okay. This is the whole process. What in my mind and how I doing each step for, for everyone and for the new person I'm teaching them, this is the step to do. So, Folks, I cover the most, the, the very basic about how to start the, the, uh, the, our business in Jeunesse. And it is not new to some, some, some of you I know. Uh, it just make you uh, some organized in my own logic thinking for, for, for a flowchart way, okay? So 
let's open up to the q a if you have any question well not only myself actually robert's here and he has more experience than me in, in this business and we can ask you know a lot of question and you can type on the chat and we're going to check on the chat and and help you any question is no good question and bad question let's go on robert <laughs> Well, then it's a good show, you know. Uh, you have English version there, and uh, I think we both are engineer. I have the Chinese version for that. <laughs> I mean, the, I mean the flow chart. Okay, I, I created that a long, long time ago because we really? all like uh, we all like the flow chart. Yes, yes. Well, this makes you logic thinking more, yeah. <laughs> well, I won't talk about it. you know. Sometimes logic is good. Okay, logic is good. Uh, well, you do everything. You gotta be logic. But sometimes we fall into the trap when you are too logic and uh, you just uh, limited your imagination. Correct. Because uh, after doing the genetics, I found out I can, actually they have a lot of way to do the same thing. You yes, can you yes. can you can be a uh, 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 very nasty. You can be a uh, very harsh. But sometimes you can you can be a uh, very funny. So that's that's when we do the one up. Uh, sometimes I think maybe. Don't need to be too logic, that, because some correct. some lady some lady I found out Janice they just cannot be logic because it's not their nature for us. It's yeah. nature. Com completely agree. You know, uh, for us we are trained we educate by logic thinking, but in Janice sometimes it's more about your passion, your emotion, how your temperature that how your passion you show that people will attract to it. You know, we I. For engineer thinking, we always want to provide information, but I still remember, you know, people will not remember what you say, and they just remember how you say, it. yeah? <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's correct. Yeah. Sometimes, sometimes I suggest, you know, uh, make yourself a little bit funny and be nice. And uh, yeah. Oh, we got, a, we got the, the, the coming up. Let's, let's see the, how they say it. Okay, the first one is a Tom. Tom say, if I have 300 plus people on my phone, is there a flow chart to start calling and continue to drive to the list? Wow, great question. Well, I want to say congratulations first. You have 300, that is good. Okay, 300 plus, what you need to do? Well, I, I, I strongly recommend you not only on your phone, okay? because on your phone, you won't see the list and you won't remember it. Put it up on your Excel sheet or something, write it down, okay? And then you want to, we want to go back to, to, your, to your sponsor or your leader that to ask them to help you to analyze who should call first, okay? There is some analyzing you can do that, you know, uh, like the willingness or how, how, how well you know that person, uh, that kind of things, you know, uh, Different leader, you know, they will teach you how they experience it. Uh, because why, why I say that every time you do it, every call you do, every time you learn things, you don't learn new things, and then you know how to do to react for the next time. But a lot of people, they just, the phone is so heavy. They just worry to how to pick it up to talk to people. You just get to get over it and, 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 be 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 what the simple things repeat doing it and you will master it simple okay very very good dennis i think that tom you you heard what the dennis just say uh i, I just lead a little bit of sin on that okay if you have 300 people on your phone okay so first uh you got i uh, you gotta ask yourself did you constantly or regularly to call these people or lie to these people because uh, first you gotta you gotta lie them to the uh, familiar with you. If that's the case, it, it's very good. Okay, that mean you have the uh, we we call that active contact with three hundred people. It's, it's excellent. The second thing I probably gonna suggest you is you gonna you gotta go to your memory and uh, feature one. Uh, you think, I mean you think. Uh, you are you are uh, what say you are you are more likely you're gonna talk to. I mean, when you talk to that kind of people, uh, you you have no pressure. You can you can uh, you can say hello something like that. So uh, if that's the case, 
you know, I will categorize that. I'm gonna call that kind of people uh, more first. Why? Because uh, we don't prejudge the people, mm. but the, you still can uh, select the one uh, you like to talk to. If you were uh, just new start the business, so you just talk to the one you like to talk to, and then just talk to them uh, like uh, normal people. Uh, what are you used to talk to them? Talk to them. But at this conversation, you put what the uh, Dennis just uh, uh, just show. F O R M H D in your conversation, but you don't exactly uh, purposely just random. Hey, how how you doing right now? You know, hey, uh, how's your your area? You know, what's the lockdown? Some something like that, okay. And then uh, I suggest you to the take some note, take yeah. some note of the each conversation uh, for everyone, and don't strike, don't say genius at the uh, first one or two times. Because why? Because you, you got to get easy, make people to uh, like to talk to you. Is uh, your lovely person, they want to talk to you. So you just F-O-M-H-D in your question, you collect the information. So after one week, well, if you can call as in, in people as possible, I think that's good. Then you can take your note. You will see which one got something like that. Okay, so the next week, call them again. Yeah. But what do you call? Uh, mention, if you find someone, they got some need or something like that, you can call them and just uh, in your conversation, mention their need. Then they will, you will bring back their memory and uh, you will continue that topic and you're going to call all the way down. And you, you, will, you will find out uh, deeply what they really need. So that's some kind of technique. Uh, if you access is what I, I would suggest you, go like that, okay? If you have a lot of number, I'm telling you, you are, you are uh, not getting boring and you are not give the certain people too much pressure. Right. Because uh, there's some, something that we happened uh, before because we don't have the enough number. So uh, if you like 20, 30, so you're gonna focus on these 20, 30 people. And gradually they'll feel pressure. And uh, you know that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this is what, what I suggest. So yeah, Dennis, yeah. do you have something to, to add on that? Well, I agree about that. And also, you know, if you have 300, 300 plus a lot of on the name list, make sure that you have the note. Uh, the reason why, uh, because you will start calling lots of phone call every day. And honestly, probably you will forget who you call. Did I call that person yesterday? And you call them again. And you talking the same thing is so embarrassing. Sometimes, hey, you just called me. You just talked to me yesterday, two days ago about this. They will remember you because, and you won't remember that. So make sure you have a note I call and what happened, what's the result, you know? And that is the note, you know, I find out that is very useful, useful, yeah. Yeah, it's, kind, it's like combined, you know, the engineering side and the normal people side. So you gotta yeah. take a note. Okay, that's the only way you gotta do. You take the note, okay? Don't strike first and uh, give them time to warm up and uh, remind them the question you asked last conversation. Just like uh, you talk to people is is uh, like, uh, you know, they will feel, feel you, your intentional intention to do something. No, just uh, talk to them. And at the second time, probably you get more information. Usually third time you probably can strike. You, you can you can talk to something like, hey, you mentioned something like uh, you want a side job or you, you have something uh, about the salary, something like that. So how, how do you think about that? You do you have any point? Is it why you say that? Well, you know that in the pandemic, everybody showed the money. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Sometimes you can you can just say something like that, and uh, well, then you will find out you're surprised. You know the, what what are they gonna tell you? Okay. Right. Yeah. And, and I find out some of my partner when they're doing the name list. One thing is you know uh, some some might they they don't do the name list from the beginning, and they all then I ask them to do the name list. They start writing up. I said. Why is this so, so less? No, because I talked to this person say no already. This person say no already. That's why they don't put on the name list. I asked them, is that person say no forever? Or is on no means not right now. 
not the correct timing yet, okay? So I tell them, write it down, okay? Because if you don't write it down, you're gonna forget it. Create your name list, just write a comment. When you say, they say no. Maybe three months later, who knows? This pandemic, this situation, this world gonna change. Maybe they got laid off, or maybe, you know, they, they find something, they, maybe they have, have a problem. That is something that is on your list. This is what we call follow-up, okay? This is how engineer thinking. <laughs> Yeah, very good, very good. Because for that, you know, one last thing to add. If uh, if you say that uh, somebody say no to you a lot, okay, when you go to the name list, mm. and uh, I probably gonna tell you, you probably gonna uh, launch a genus too fast, because usually it's not kind the kind of, the kind of the fast, okay. Uh, so the, the suggestion I get, give to you, okay, we're gonna go to the second one. The the, the, the joy Josie say. As an Emerald director, what is a typical work day like to you? How much training, ABC meeting do you give or do in a day to your partner? So well, Dennis, you, you, you are very aggressive. Share that with us. Well, it all depends on you, Josie. Okay. <laughs> well, that's, that's the, you know, the, well, normally, okay. The typical work day is, well, Priority number one, basically, is production. Is meeting people, talking to people. If partners need help for meeting to do ABC, that is my priority number one, okay? Because always, you know, they, I put that because it's, they want to expand their business. That is number one. Well, basically, doing every time doing ABC, it is a training also at the same time. Okay, that is, that is a combined training. So, well, day to day is different. Sometime more ABC in F each day and sometime is more training. But one thing is when, when you do about, uh, when you start recruiting, recruiting, we have a lot of people joining in, you have the momentum. One thing you have to be careful is the training because once they join the partnership, their excitement, and you need to do the startup kickstart as soon as possible, okay? Otherwise, they will feel they left, they be left behind. Once they sign up, they don't know anything. You know that is no good, okay? I, I have some experience with some other old partner. You know they sign up, even they forgot who they sign up because it's running so fast. Sign up, sign up, sign up, and they forgot. And the people got the product and they don't know how to use it. That is completely no good, okay? So. For me, for a day, well, really it's no typical day, but every day I start, if nothing, I will go on training. I will go and train myself first. So I'll go, I go back to the training, to the basic. I want to learn myself because every, every stage you are, when you're looking at the same training, you got different and you, got, you, you feel differently. How about Very you, good. Robert? Well, everybody can see, you know, that uh, Dennis is a, is a, is a working hard people. Uh, my day, because maybe I'm a little bit old, so uh, you know, so I gonna use some something uh, uh, more like uh, well, I, I would not say logical. Okay, actually, uh, for the for the beginning of the week, okay, we, we cut the months for the four weeks. Okay, mm -hmm. so uh, beginning of the week, there's probably the uh, Sunday night, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to look at uh, my calendar for the next week. Mm -hmm. uh, what, because, you know, the, we, we have a lot, you know, schedules there. So some, something like that. I'm going to locate that first. Okay. So I, there was something in my mind. So, okay, what I'm doing there. And uh, because I'm going to put all the meeting, all the pre-order, pre pre-book that the ABC is there. And uh, second, what I, what I started the day uh, usually when I get back every day, so I suggest everybody, uh, don't pick up your phone first. Don't Correct. pick up your phone first because you will be driven by the phone. Because that one, I, I, I've, been, I've been addicted to that for some time, uh, quite a time. And uh, I found out you completely lost, you know, so don't, don't addict to the phone. Don't, don't just uh, uh, willing to see uh, what happened the day or something somebody that line you the wechat you uh give yourself probably the 15 20 minutes okay you can have nice coffee sit there and sink 
Okay, what's in your mind? What what do you want to do today? Because you always got something you're gonna do that day, and then I'm gonna start pick up the phone and uh, look at the WhatsApp because that one can make you come down. So that's very important. And then if you got got the, some uh, the, uh, the the uh, appointment that day or something like you're gonna you're gonna go through that. But the what I do every day is uh, I still have the normal life. Okay, that one is very important. Okay, Jeunesse, we, we put Jeunesse at uh, the first priority, but uh, sometimes you gotta live the normal life. Uh, sometimes you just got like the, the Danish say, you gotta motivate yourself. Sometimes, you know, the, your emotion is up and down. So you always gotta find some way to motivate yourself. When you are down and you gotta have some, uh, uh, some way to, the, to the, uh, make you get high. So my way is sometimes I listen to music, I watch the video. So I collect a lot, you know, the, the motivate video. So I, I, I do that, okay? So that's my the particular day. So, you know, we, uh, we have the normal life. When they, my wife asks you, honey, I need to go to shopping. What are you gonna do? Go with her. Trust me, go with her, okay? Why? You gotta, you gotta I think Wendy and Randy, they created a genetics. They, they just want uh, uh, you, you are 24 hour genetics. You gotta have the normal life, okay? When you gotta read, you gotta read because sometimes I find out reading is very important, especially if you are the leader. If you want to you know, have more topic, you can talk to people. How to do that? I found out the best way is uh, through the learning, you can read. So you, you, you have that, you have multiple interesting for difference. So when you talk to the people, you can find out that if you more, more stuff in your mind, you have more topic to talk to people. People want to talk to someone has fun, okay? Has fun. And uh, if, you, if he say something, you can resonate with him or her. He, they will just find out, oh, I find some people just like me. Hey, folk, that's very important. Because if you can let him feel, I found some people just like me. You know what happened? He can tell you everything. I don't want to find other people's secret, yeah. but I gonna give in a channel. The channel what? They feel safe. They can talk out. But how are you gonna do that? Talk to people. Keep yourself fun. You, you know a lot. Thing. You don't need very detail for this stuff. But you know this, you know that, you know the music, you know the movie, you know the saxophone, blah, 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 blah. People will talk to you, say, oh, you're just nice people to talk. And graciously, you'll find, well, a lot of people want to talk to you. And sometimes I can ask you advice. Hey, Robert, because right now pandemic, you know, I really got, you know, the, the salary short, you know, the, I, I, I saw you, you know, that you, you, you dress like that. You look very casual, drive the good car. So, so what's your secret? Hey, gentlemen, that's, uh, that's your chance. You go, why? He acts. What are you going to do? Response. So if you do it that way, I'm telling you, no pressure. People just love you because why? You act like a consultant. Okay? They ask a question, you answer that. And uh, if you build up the trust when they do the conversation, it's, it's very easy to the to sign other people yeah that's that's my way <laughs> how do you think well that's true you know but uh we're cutting the, up in time there's one question okay they're asking that is it okay to cut short and just launch into asking contacts to be business partners right away straightforward what do you depends. think Robert? depends <laughs> depends then yeah. is that one that one for myself uh well you know you say, can they cut short? Yeah, you can cut it short, but that's depend on your preparation work. Correct. Yeah, or unless you find out this guy have very urgent need. He's looking for something. You can cut short, why? Because he won't answer, you just give him the answer directly. But you know, when you do that, but you still can find out what's wrong with him and what he really want. Uh, usually I will wait, I will wait. Yeah. Correct. How, yeah. How, how are you going to do that, Dennis? I, 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 I have the same thing also with you, you know, because uh, if you don't really find out, you know, what their need is, okay, 
and how willingness this person is, unless you know you know that person very very well, and then you can cut short. Otherwise, you know you have to. The basically technique I think is, you have to. They have to tell you from their mouth that yes, I want it. If they don't say that, normally is you try to push something into their mouth. Okay, if you find out something. Do you want it? They say yes. That is, you change it completely. You change it 180 degrees when the time when they say yes. Okay, they have one gentleman called the Kumari say you cannot heal. Uh, what should I do? Well, probably that one. If you cannot heal, is that suddenly coming out? You probably gonna get out and come in again. That's <laughs> what I suggest. Okay. Maybe you're still uh, connected. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. But, uh, you know, sorry, the Kumari, because uh, our time probably is up. So yes. anybody want to ask the last question, if you uh, do you want that? Yes. Any last question? You know, otherwise, you know, we might say, you know, good night for you tonight. And then, you know, I think we will, I'm not sure, you know, I will ask I mean about the, the, the recording. If there is something, you know, sure, you know, uh, we, will, we will send it out to everyone here. Uh, well, if no more question, thank you so much, everyone. So thank you, Robert, uh, for your great morning. Uh, have one more coffee in the morning and relax. No, no, no. One, one cup is now. Don't get high, okay? One <laughs> cup is now. So thank you, Dennis, and thanks to the, everyone who attended the meeting today. We're going to see okay. you next time, okay? Next time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Good night. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.